Welcome back. So, Jack's not here once again. He has just God bless him. Um, we've been and had a little bit of Costco dinner. Big Rowan's on the cam. Um, weird one this week. We're going to be fitting a new inlet manifold and runners and thermal spacer and elbow. If you're wondering why, there's no reason really, apart from this new one's black and it's a bit bigger. When well, I say a bit bigger, me and Me Rowan have had a look, it's like, that, that much bigger. But it is billet and this one is cast. Uh, this one's been a car now since I built it and I fancy the change. So this RPC sexy manifold and runners and fuel rail will be for sale. So if you want, if you want to buy it off me, let me know and we can sort some out. All the women say black's better anyway. True, it's, um, Rowan says black's a lot better in not just performance gains, but also in length <laughs> and girth. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be changing this one for this bad boy. Oof, look at that. She's a beauty. Big up my boy. Stav built for sending me this bad boy out. As you can see, there's not much difference. It's thicker this way than not at the bottom. And this one's thicker at the bottom than at the top. Obviously that carbon plate's going to be on this one. But it just looks a lot more OEM. And I think it looks a little bit better in, in car because they're all, everything in car's that color. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not far off black, black, black. Like the men in Rowan's dreams. But yeah, we're going to get that on today. And we're, we're not going to talk you through it. It's an headache job. Um, I'll show you some close-ups, but it's just going to be a quick time-lapse. We'll be taking that one off and showing it runners and why we do things and what we don't do. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll crack on with this and um, hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> a bit of a snag so ignore the cellar tape i've just had to glue this on um yeah this adhesive just pops off so i'm just going to glue it on so that's on next problem the fuel rail at the top it's a uh, dash 10 an which is sorry this one dash 10 an in and out um the problem is my lines because of the e sensor is dash six so I need a dash 10 to dash 6 reducer for the fuel rail to go down there. Luckily, big up James at Perrin, you are a fucking legend. He has literally gone to work just to make me this line because this fit in here was a straight and it didn't fit. Sorry, no, this, this end was um, a 45 as well as this one and it weren't, I needed a straight. So it's drove to work just to make me this line. Um, so yeah, so that's what's going to screw into the bottom of the fuel rail. Um, one of these is, well, it's going to be that fitting at one end. And then that end at the other one. This is a, that's a 12 to a 6. But that's going to screw into there. That's going to go the bottom of the fuel rail. Then once the fuel rail's in, it's pretty much done. All I need to do after that is modify this boost pipe because obviously it don't fit after I've just done all that work making the boost pipes. But at least I've got the lining. This is some mad flexible hose as well, ethanol grade, full crimp on connectors, AN. So yeah, big up James for sorting me that are absolute legends. Um, that's the old fuel rail, the new fuel rail's down there somewhere. Um, what is it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got the runners on, we've got the thermal plate on, we've got gaskets on both sides and O-rings and the new bolts and the thermal spacers on the bolts. But yeah, I need some, I, I, this is for the DNWA, I don't have that, so I'm going to blank that somehow. But um, yeah, I'm going to see what I can do tomorrow, see if I can get one of these. So you've just seen a time lapse of me putting the Stav built inlet manifold on. It didn't go straight forward as what I thought it was going to. Um, it ran a date getting the fuel rail back in because the O-rings just kept popping off. And I needed parents to make this line, but this is the line that's in there. Uh, this is now the next day actually. 
um, the new fittings in down there. I've put some paint pen on all the bolts, so I don't know if it's come loose or not. Due to this being totally different than the other one, there's now a, the manifold, it's, it's weird to explain, but it's further down the old one. The new one's further up, so it caught on bonnet, so I have to chop, chop a bit of that out, but I've got a new bonnet coming anyway, so minor. Um, the boost pipe didn't fit down there, so I've had to re-weld it and put some new clips on it, which I'll add some photos in. And yeah, apart from that, all gone well. I've had to turn this diverter valve around and rerun the line for the for the meth. At some point, I do want to use. If you look down there, there's like five little screws for the in each individual meth jets. So I do want to have like a five to one piece instead of running that space plate at some point because now I can't put that duct on because that duct don't fit against the throttle body due to it being spaced and it's not it's not a genuine throttle body it's a bigger one uh, but that doesn't matter because you'll see that why that doesn't matter in a minute or soon but yeah for now it's all on i've had to delete this um vacuum port here which is for the dnwa but apart from that what can i sex this years what do you think james it's good it's a lot better isn't it than before a lot better it, it ties in very well with the black on black on black thing but yeah that's all done now pretty much i'd like to say a massive thanks to stav legend sending this manifold this is like the biggest manifold that you can buy for the daza slash dnwa if you want one of these message stav said tom from tc center look at it it does 2000 horsepower full billet absolute sexiness with the individual runners it's got nitrous ports underneath in all five cylinders MEF jets on top in all five cylinders. Comes with a vacuum port for the DNWA and the Dazzer, but the Dazzer didn't need it. Um, comes with vacuum underneath in case you're on these diverter valves. It's literally suitable for a stock car, a stage two car, or a stage three fully forged big flame spitting animal like mine. But yeah, thanks Stav for sending me that art. And Stav also sends American sweets for his orders. So if that's not, if that's not like enough encouragement to order one, I don't know what it is. American sweets are a lot better than our sweets, so you know. Like I had these things, these like little jelly beans. Unreal. But yeah, apart from that, go give Stav Bill a like on Facebook and go give him a follow on Instagram. Um, and you'll see this bad boy get posted up on my work page as well as my own page. But apart from that, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.